Hey viewers, and today we're going to be kicking off this week with a brand new project focusing on a very hot topic, which is remote learning. My name is Roy, I'm a web designer. If you do find the content useful, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's get into the video. Again, we're going to use the, the lean business model canvas and we're going to be looking at the four areas of the problem, the audience, the UVP and solutions. So if we're going to start off with the problem and this is something that I've, I'm experiencing, I'm a parent of one child and just to kick it off, primary school kids and parents struggling with homeschooling. So I work with one startup, so I work remotely. My wife is also working remotely. So at the same time, our child, she needs help and it's quite, quite the struggle sometimes. So balancing school and balancing work. So I thought this would be a good subject to, to tackle. And some questions with that is, can we focus on a specific area can a small change make a big impact? So now, if we go over to the target audience, this is quite interesting because again, it's impossible to please everyone. And we're gonna be looking at two audiences, which is the parent, and let's say generation Y or millennials. We've done that on the past two projects. And then a new target audience is children, generation alpha, from 2010 to 2020, because primarily they will be the end user, they will be using the app or the service. So we got two target audiences because again, the parent is the one that has to install the app or sign up. And that's how it works nowadays with parent and child um, when an app is involved. So moving on to number three, which is the unique value proposition. What is the product's primary reason you are different and worth buying? So again, thinking about the niche, thinking about something different, we're looking at building good habits and to make it fun for the child, we're looking at a fun buddy app, saying fun again. And the other thing interesting about this is gamification. So this is really another really hot topic at the moment as well. And then lastly, number four is solutions. What is the minimum feature set MVP that demonstrates the UVP? So again, I'm thinking of the journey voice to build habits. So rather than text, it's going to be voice control like Alexa, for example, app to track or monitor habits could just be paper to print out with voice. So I'll get onto that in a minute. It doesn't have to be something super tech. It could be something very simple. I'm just thinking of solutions at the moment. And then the name that I thought of is something very generic. Again, it's called Habit Bud. There is one out there called Habit Buddy already. So that's why I went with Habit Bud. And there could be one with this already. So hopefully this is generic. And the values of the brand, again, it's modern because we're going to be using voice control and fun in terms of for the child because home learning or homeschooling we've got to make it fun in my eyes in my opinion and then habits as well i don't know if that's a value but that's basically what the whole goal is of of the startup let's have a look at the competition so one competition is good habits so now we're on the good habits website Online training, make online learning a good habit, get your free 14 day trial. And they seem to be focusing more on uh, an adult audience. So things like privacy, the GDPR, this is pretty interesting stuff. The colors are on here are very vibrant as well. Um, again, maybe they're going for that fun kind of aspect where they're making the learning fun. This is just at a glance, but they're kind of using like 3D objects as well, which is another trend at the moment. So yeah, very interesting, strong, vibrant colors, 
energy again we're gonna use this as inspiration and then of course the other one that i wanted to touch on this is something that i've read myself not necessarily a competition but as inspiration is a book called atomic habits by james clear now just aside from this project i would highly highly recommend this to you if you have not read this book if you are intending to become a designer or anything that requires a lot of output and discipline in terms of building projects making a logo a website week in week out you're going to need to build good habits and i would just highly recommend this book and this is what has inspired me as well to do my training my learning and why you should start small so here tiny changes remarkable results I don't want to spoil it for you, but I would highly recommend this book. So this is inspiration and reference. And then the last one to touch on is Dot Diary. And this kind of relates to good habits. So if we go back into Figma, and if you go into the community and you search for Dot Diary, you'll see this really cool diary and this user who is called Brandon Oxendine, this creator has created this diary and the cover. So I've used the dot diary to log various good and bad habits I want to keep track of in the last year. And I think this is really cool. This is something that I used when I did the 30 day web design challenge and beyond. I'm, I'm using this on and off and I would highly recommend it and this is another good example of of keeping it simple okay you don't necessarily need to have a nap you could print this out you can stick or you can color or you can just mark what you've done and if we were to go zoom in a bit more the colors relate to the tasks so alcohol reading cleaning exercise studying cooking so again this is really really good this is how I how I keep track of the stuff that I do. And yeah, highly recommend that. So again, if we go back into Figma, that is about it really. So we've looked at the inspiration, we've looked at habits, how that can make a change. So I do hope you find this video useful. And we've done two projects already this year. So is, have, if anyone has done those or even a, a portion of it, for example, just the logo or design system, please do let me know in the comments how you're finding it. it would, I'd really appreciate it just to just to know that you, the viewer, is finding it useful and you're actually taking action and hopefully you're going to build a portfolio that's going to absolutely kick ass. And I said that really badly. That's the whole point of doing these projects. The end goal is for you to have a portfolio to show that you're proud of and you can go out there you can start approaching clients or jobs or startups showing them your portfolio your work that you've done and hopefully get yourself a good opportunity so again my name is Roy I'm a web designer if you find the content useful please leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit the bell and I'll see you in the next video which I'm aiming for to be Thursday. So I'll see you then. Cheers, bye.